Salutare dragilor și bine v-am regăsit aici de la DevPlay Conference 2018 unde voi avea două interviuri cu cineva de la EA Ghost Games care se ocupă de franciza Need for Speed și cu Nicole, art director de la FIFA. Deci vom vorbi despre Need for Speed puțin și despre FIFA. Apropo, interviul va fi în engleză și o voi traduce, nu e nicio problemă, ca așa am făcut și la ISE Fest, deci să-i dăm drumul. So, you worked, like your career is pretty amazing because you worked mm-hmm. in Hollywood for a lot of years with Steven Spielberg, mm-hmm. uh, with Tom Cruise. I don't yeah. know, did you ever meet him, Tom Cruise? Yeah, lots of times, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, he's short, right? He is, but he's, he's the most charming person in the world, like uh, really, really friendly, uh, yeah. So, you worked on Minority Report, yeah. Prince of Egypt, one of my favorite cartoons ever. All oh, right. AI, yeah. it's a great movie. Yeah. What else? Because I'm skipping a few. Um, Star Trek Generations. I did uh, Mission Impossible 2. Yeah. Um, Twister was, you know, one of the big Twister movies. Twister yeah. is one of my favorite movies ever. Oh wow! Yeah, with Helen Hunt and Bill Paxton, yes. the poor guy. Yeah, I know. Bill is yeah. such a wonderful human being. Very nice guy. I loved him yeah. a lot of movies. Yeah. So how did you end up from there to gaming? I'd never worked in games before, and I just thought it'd be a fun, interesting challenge. So suddenly, I was working at EA. Yeah. So mostly your works involved games like uh, Need for Speed? Worked on a lot of those, yes. The, the early part of that, Hot Pursuit 2. I also worked on Skate and Skate 2. I loved Skate. Yeah. And Especially the second one. The graphics were pretty amazing for that yeah, time. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So what is your main focus now? What do you actually do? I'm a studio art director at EA Ghost um, Studio. Um, and Ghost is based in Gothenburg, Sweden and Guilford, UK. And here in Romania, in Bucharest, we have a ghost team. And a great team of developers, you know, working on design and UI UX and engineering. And, uh, you know, and the teams here in Romania include uh, FIFA, a huge team, uh, NHL, uh, mobile games. So there's lots of great development happening here. uh, Oh, also there's um, a Frostbite engine too. Awesome engine, and we've got a bunch of engineers here in Bucharest uh, working on well, that as well. Uh, I'm glad you mentioned the, uh, the engine because on Payback, which engine you, did you use there? That is Frostbite, yes. Frostbite. Yeah. And on the new Need for Speed, which is coming out? Beats me. <laughs> <laughs> it oh, hasn't been announced, smart. so. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. But, um, okay, let's step back a bit. Okay. Um, Could you guide, uh, guide us through the technology used in Payback and how that evolves and will evolve for further um, Need for Speed uh, games? Uh, but you know, with every game, uh, try and make things better. Um, and there's improvements to the engine. And then the game team also does lots of engineering work uh, to uh, improve things um, across the board. Uh, you know, so it can be everything from multiplayer to you know, how awesome the roads and the cars look. You said about cars looking great. What what can you tell us about the cars from the future? And I don't mean the flying ones, but the ones in the next Need for Speed, which is unannounced, but it's coming out. (laughs) Good try. (laughs) Well, that's practically my job. Exactly, I I, I I get it, I get it, I get it, yeah. Yeah. Could you guide us through that a little bit? So you have what, like physics with car denting? And reflections, refractions, ray tracing, all that, that's new. I bet that's going to be inside. <laughs> it's confirmed. <laughs> so could you, uh, could you speak a little bit about, about that? What can we expect from future Need for Speed games? Well, I can't tell you anything specifically. Okay. Um, until when, Once the game is announced, they'll, they'll um, share with the world uh, you know, what would be in a future game. And that's a true for any game, you know, not just Need for Speed. And until it's you know publicly announced, we can't really talk yeah, about any course. specifics. Uh, but um, what can I say? I mean, there, there's a lot of things uh, as an artist over the years I've wanted to do to make the game better. And some of it has to do with the way cars are created. Um, some of it has to do with the way they're rendered. You know, all the materials and the shading. Um, and a lot of it comes from the lighting. You know, it's getting to the point now where um, you know you, we could do a car uh, render and in the game engine and you can, is that a photograph or is that a, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's getting pretty convincing, I think. That, that's true for every console generation, isn't it? We always think that's the maximum, that's the, yeah. the top floor we can get at, yeah. but it's always, always something no, else. Yeah. Yeah, in two exactly. years, something comes, it's, it's yeah. something else. It's Battlefield yeah. 1, it looks amazing. Then yeah. it's Battlefield 5, it looks exactly. <laughs> exactly. I now know. it's the new Need for Speed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. 
but it is coming out, right? Uh, you know, like officially I can't say yeah, anything about whether or not we're working on it or whether or not it's coming out or... Oh, it's uh, that but, uh, Fort Knox. But oh. uh, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, they have pretty strict rules. Easily you're starting to recruit more developers yeah, than yeah. just testers. Yeah. So Romina is going to become... Exactly. Like sense of I mean, even for my team right now, we're looking for designers, we're looking for engineers, we're looking for UI UX. We're recruiting. And these are professional jobs that people can build a career on. One of the things that's exciting about games is that, you know, we're making games all over the world. Like the game I'm working on right now is like five different locations all over the world people are working on it. Um, so, you know, people that might consider being in the game industry, there are so many job opportunities here in Romania and Bucharest um, with EA's growth, as well as throughout the world, um, which, is, which is pretty exciting. You guys are always improving the engine oh, and absolutely. the visuals and everything. So yes. if there was, hypothetically <laughs> speaking, an yeah. for speed in the works, right. it would look pretty amazing, right? Of course it would. If I'm working on it, it's going to look amazing. And, you know, honestly, the talent we have at EA, especially at the Ghost Studio I'm most familiar with, is top notch. I mean, it's brilliant, brilliant people. So. Um, you know, you get those minds together, something great is going to come out of that. Whatever that is, you know, you, you have to figure out and, and it will be announced at some point, but uh, we I will make great there, things, yeah. yeah. Next time we meet, you know, we can get more technical. I, you know, once it's announced, we should talk. Once it, whatever oh, game we're working on. You can bet on uh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're in Romania, I'm going to yeah. just knock on okay, your door. Okay, let's do it. All right. You, you promise on the end. Let's do it. Let's talk. When, when, awesome. when we can talk, I would be happy to talk oh, to you thanks, again. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Henry, Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, our director at EA Sports. Yes. Wow. <laughs> um, when I was reading your bio, so your history, it said you started with UI design. Yes. So, could you explain a little bit in broad terms what UI is, you know, user interface, yep. what it does, and, you know, the importance of it in a video game? Okay. Um, so, I think. The UI has really grown in importance over the years from, from when I first started to now. Uh, the UI is basically the, the menus uh, for getting into the game. So it's um, short for user interface? User it's interface, It's just the yes. menus, everything you see it's, on screen. Yeah, so it's the, it's the menus uh, before you get into the game, it's the, uh, the HUD and the overlays and all the broadcast stuff that once you're in the game. Uh, and then when you come back out again, it's yeah, it's it's the um, all the messaging and all that kind of thing as well. Yeah, so it's so it's anything that basically sits uh, that you interact with that you, that sits on top of the gameplay or so it's or graphics, surrounds the UI, and yourself on the couch, right? It, yes, <laughs> basically. Yeah. Yeah. So as an art director, um, what would you, what would you say your biggest contribution would be with FIFA 19 compared to the old FIFA? Uh, well, old relatively because. 17 and 18 are still uh, yeah. really popular, so. Um, I think one of the biggest things that I enjoy that makes a really big impact uh, on our community is the pack opening uh, in FIFA Ultimate Team. Yeah. So I'm actually the feature designer for that. So I actually design the whole thing, not just the art direction. And then I do the art direction and I work with uh, engineers and uh, audio designers and visual effects artists, uh, animators. Um, just for opening those packs? Just, yes, just for the pack opening Answer experience. me this, please, I beg of you, right? How many psychologists do you guys talk to <laughs> before you make uh, a visual effect or a sound? Because I bet, that's my theory, because everything uh, relies on dopamine effects. So when you open that pack, you feel a, a little pleasure rush yeah. in your brain. Is, is that true? Um, yes, and I, I, we don't speak necessarily to psychologists, but uh, we have a very close, uh, um, I guess, pulse on our community and what people love about it and what people uh, don't love about it. What exactly do you decide? It, so it's a collective experience, really. So we have uh, a leadership team uh, within, we have a leadership team within FIFA Ultimate Team, there's a leadership team within, within FIFA. And that leadership team are really like the key decision makers uh, for the game. So nobody makes a decision about something entirely in a silo. So mm -hmm. we're constantly communicating with each other about what our what our business goals are for all of EA Sports. What what we want you know FIFA to uh, be about. What's the theme of FIFA for you know for each new season? Uh, and then from that we sort of distill the ideas about what we're actually going to create. And if we wanted to change direction on something like that, it would be a matter of. Um, my recommendation 
to our group of decision makers and we talk about it and we get aligned on it and does it does it um, uh, does it support the goals that they have at the at, at each higher level okay so it's synergy basically yes yeah there's no it's not like a this hierarchy where like one person sits there and says yes 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 no 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 but we do have we do have that collective responsibility because we are such a big game uh, we need to make sure that all of the pieces that are coming in are working together and, and making the type of game that we want, you know, as a whole. So what's in store for the future of FIFA? Um, are you guys planning to make like incremental adjustments every year? Or do you have, for instance, like a, a big leap planned for, for the future where, you know, everything's going to go like um, blow our minds? Yeah, so, I mean, FIFA is, it's an iterative title. Right now we work in, um, we have one year development cycles, so there's only so much you can do in, in a single year. That's just the nature of, of video game making. I mean, I think, honestly, if we had, if you had three years to work on, on FIFA, um, you could put, I mean, you could easily put so much great work in there. And the reality is that we are limited by what we can do in, in one year. Um, so yeah, having three years to do, you know, see features through would be incredible. Three times the content. Or exactly, yeah. Or three times the depth, or three times the quality, or whatever, right? So um, it, it would obviously be really exciting, but do people want to wait three years for, <laughs> for the next FIFA? I don't know. Uh, just surviving on updates, so I don't think so. Because people yeah. are, are barely hanging on after six months of, you know, the yearly FIFA. Yeah. So after six months, oh my God, where's the next FIFA coming out? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. So this just came out and it's a great game. I love it. Uh, yeah. Well, thanks a lot, Nicole. Thank you. And I want to see you again next time you have, I don't know, FIFA 20 in the, uh, you know, in the horizon. All right, absolutely. Perfect. Thanks okay. a lot. Thanks. Așadar, cam asta a fost pentru astăzi, am aflat puțin, puțin despre Need for Speed, neoficial și de fapt nespus, dar tot am aflat ceva, cam cu siguranță se lucrează la el și FIFA 20 va fi ceva special, cum e fiecare FIFA. Așadar, cam asta a fost. Vă mulțumesc că m-ați urmărit și până data viitoare, numai bine!